So as promised, I'm making the second video and I'm going to show you what to do with this in Desmos. So again, we're back to this sample of 30 data points and we're trying to organize it into a frequency distribution. So I'm going to click this little thing again that says copy and I'm going to go to the clipboard this time. So I'm saying let's just copy all of this and now I'm going to go over to Desmos. So now that I'm over in Desmos, I'm just going to go over into the top and activate it and then just hit Control-V and it brings all of that data over. So there's my 30 element list and I'm clicking back to the beginning and I'm just going to say, let's call this data set A. All right, so now it has my data and I'm going to go to the next one and I'm going to have it do a histogram. Okay, so histogram means it's going to graph this for us. And at first you probably don't see anything, so I'm going to hit this little zoom fit. That way it looks at the data and it picks a good window for it. So what does this tell me? Um, this is 14, this is 15. I can see 15 has a frequency of 2, 16 has a frequency of 3, 18 has a frequency of 4, right? I can look at the frequencies and see them now, which is kind of nice. If I wanted relative which would mean percentage, I would hit the relative and then again zoom fit so I can see now that I could have percentages instead, but that's not what we want right now. We want the count. So let's go back and do that. And then I'll just click back and forth a little to show you. Let's put this into the homework. So let's look at this was a two and then a three. So 15, 16, and then zero. So two, three, zero. So let's pull the homework back. Um, and we can say this was two, um, and then I had three, and it's going to ask for 17, even though there weren't any, so there's my zero. Okay, let's look at 18, 19, 20. That was four, three, two. So let's go with that. That's four, three. There's two. Let's click back and look. Um, 21. Um, this looks like three, then five, then two. Hopefully there's only two more for that. Um, 24 was four and then two for 25. So four and two. All right, so that finished. Um, on the one I did with the stat crunch, we also did the bins. Um, let me just say that yes, you could Grab this information, this one, copy it to the clipboard. So here's my copy and then done. And I'm going to go back to Desmos and let's just click over here to say we have a new one. So control V, this is my 44 elements. I'm going to say that's B. <clears throat> um, I want to turn off the previous ones we had so I don't need to see them. And I could tell it again like to do a histogram. That one's hit B. Um, so in when I zoom, then you can see it. So there's my histogram, so you can see everything. Um, and it does allow a width. So if I wanted to say something like five, so you could classify it. A couple things you would want to do is push left, so it would start at 40. But what I haven't figured out yet is how to make it move over to start at a new place. I'll get back to you if I figure that out. But for now, Desmos isn't going to really help us too much unless we had numbers that started like at 40 or 45, something that we could, um, we would have to use the beginning number when we're using the histograms in um, Desmos. So I don't think that's super helpful. I would say don't try to do that. Um, for this particular part of your homework, maybe you want to stick with StatCrunch. And again, I'll try to throw something together with Excel.